I want to quickly talk to you about RHEL 4 warehouse management software. So we're going, we are going to do a review of this software tool to have a clear idea of what this tool really stands for. So here is uh, the, uh, the general presentation about this software here. So what is RHEL 4? I mean, the right word is here is RHEL 4 wise. Okay. So RHEL 4 actually is a warehouse management software that really can do a lot of stuff. So one thing you need to really think about here is that you have a uh, flexibility, you have efficiency, but most importantly, we have adaptability. In other words, whether you have a small operation, you have a small warehouse, or you have a, a, a series of uh, larger warehouses, you are a, you are able to use RHEL 4 for all kinds of possibilities. So this is really good. That's one, one thing we love a lot when we analyze, uh, I would say, uh, warehouse management systems in general. Okay. And basically, uh, this company has been around for nearly 40 years. Can you imagine that? So Rail 4 have been doing they have been doing this since 1984. So this is this is really good. What we love about uh, this, what we love about Rail 4 here is that it's pretty straightforward. It's actually a rules-based warehouse management system that's able to uh, support a number of industries. You have 3PL, you have so third-party logistics, you have automotive, you have food and beverage, you have industrial machinery. So this is kind of cool. And so actually uh, Rail 4 actually uh, will help you manage core warehouse processes such as tasks, operations, budget, and productivity tracking. And its functions and features include receiving, the directed put away, picking and slotting, cross docking, enterprise resource planning, ERP integration, and more. And uh, so why this RHEL 4 actually also offers advanced shipping notices, ASNs, purchase order organization, warehouse uh, transfers, and work order processing. And so warehouses that require RFID are supported by RHEL 4 WISE and WISE offers both radio frequency and paper-based solution standards. So this is really fantastic. So bottom line here is what? RHEL 4 provides transportation features for looking for extended transportation. Like if you are looking for yard management, for instance, or warehouse management, RHEL 4 will actually would, will get it done. Not a problem. Okay. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's talk about the target audience here. So we are still talking about RHEL 4 warehouse management system. What is the, the, the target audience? Well, in our view, based on all based on our research, we think that uh, RHEL 4 warehouse management system is great for industries like 3PL, government, automotive, emergency response. It's also great for companies that want to start a paperless system by reducing paperwork completely. It's important to understand that it's not about the size here. You can be a small business and still actually avail yourself of the tools that uh, RHEL 4 has, okay? So it, it's, it's, it's all about your uh, operational vision, so to speak, okay? And one thing I want to say here is that if you need comprehensive inventory control, if you need visibility into your warehouse uh, operation, if you need to, uh, if you if you need a tool that actually integrate into your existing tech stack, that's fine. If you want to have a standalone tool, also RHEL 4 can actually accommodate that. Okay, and if, if you really want to have a clear idea, or let's say you want to have a better transparency across receiving dynamic put away. Let down replen let downs replenishment and forward pick. You also want to really pay attention to uh, Royal Four. The bottom line here is what you really want. If you want to have a clear idea by about both your cycle count and physical inventories, you really want to go with uh, a software tool such as uh, Royal Four. We also love within Royal Four. We love the fact that you have pre manifesting. You have cubing. You have load planning. So those are additional key features. I'll speak about the features later on, but I just want to let you know that RHEL 4 is really uh, like a, a complete solution from A to Z. This is what it is. So from source, meaning raw materials, to consumption, meaning delivery acceptance. So again, that's what I, I was telling you earlier. If you go back to, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. The size of your operation doesn't matter. If you have the right vision, if you want to optimize your warehousing, if you want to actually increase your profitability, if you want to reduce, let's say, uh, loss, uh, I would say a stock loss, then you want to have uh, a uh, a tool such as uh, RHEL 4. 
By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Rail 4 Warehouse Management System. I want to talk to you about the features here. So when, th when we think about Rail 4 Warehouse Management System, what are the main features and functionalities that you need to really think about? Okay. And the thing here is that uh, you need to understand the, the warehouse the warehouse in your company is really the the most critical part when it comes to uh, your logistics, when it comes to your supply chain, because that's where all the main works are done, starting from raw materials, put into turn into a finished goods to shipping these products to distribution centers where those products will be sold, right? So uh, the RHEL 4 warehouse management system supports user-defined package types, packaging rules and techniques, location rules, and other customer needs based on your operations. So depending upon the, the configuration you have, if you have multiple warehouses or a single warehouse, you really like RHEL 4 will adapt to your configurations. So the, the most important features that you really want to pay attention to if you are if you are interested in uh, RHEL 4 warehouse management system, you have receiving, okay? You have assembly and kitting. So those are important elements to sort of uh, help with uh, the valuation of, of the inventory. You have quality assurance. You have returns. You have put away. So another important element here, you want to have, you also have cross, cross docking. You have inventory control. You have replenishment. Really important. Again, going back to what I said about inventory valuation. You have multiple URM. You have product locations. You have physical cycle counts. You have system alerts. Now, system alerts are kind of cool because, again, going back to uh, if you if you, if your job is to optimize uh, warehouse, if, if you want to optimize your warehouse operations, you really want to have that system of alerts, especially when it comes to system alerts. You also want to have uh, a clear idea, and this is an important feature within uh, RHEL 4. You have uh, order processing, you have picking, you have packing, you have load management. This is another important element. You have outbound, docu uh, outbound documentation. You also have what they call the WISE alerts. So those are sort of a periodic alerts. They really uh, go out, they get triggered if a certain rules are met. You also have crystal reports. Let's talk about pricing here. So you can actually see on the screen here that Rel4 actually uh, wants you to contact them. So if you're interested in having pricing for a Rel4 warehouse management system, you're gonna have to actually uh, contact customer service. The number is one 876 9254 Again, the number here is one 876 9254 And or you can just uh, fill in the form you see on the screen here you put in the, your first name, last name, everything. They ask you, they want to, for the uh, the email, please put your, your work email. If you, if you put your, uh, if you put the Gmail or Hotmail, sometimes the system doesn't take it. I mean, uh, sometimes they do, they do take it, but sometimes they don't take it. So it's just better if you want to uh, avoid uh, any error, any error message to go with your, your company phone number and your, uh, your, your company name and your company email. Okay. And one thing I want to say here is that when we talk about cost, Rel4 is actually uh, it's not it's not cheap, but also it's also not expensive, because when you really think about it, when you because when you actually have to make a decision about uh, warehouse management system, you got to think about uh, the ROI. It's not just about the the, the price. No, it's about what value is the software adding to your operations, especially your warehouse operations. Okay, so if you are in a configuration where your housing, your warehousing rather, your warehousing is really sort of distributed geographically, uh, like is just distributed across several geographies, then it, then it really makes sense to sort of centralize everything. So your ROI in this case will be really a positive because you'll be saving a lot more money by implementing a warehouse management system such as uh, such as uh, Rel4. The bottom line here is that you want to contact them first, speak to somebody from sales. Explain to them your needs. Explain to them uh, how many warehousing we're talking about. And then they will give you a quote. And based on that quote, you can just take it from there. 
in any chip in any in any manner any circumstance always go with the with the demo you want to really see how the demo works before you actually commit boss i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we are having a conversation about rail 4 warehouse management system let's talk about the pros and cons of a rail 4 warehouse management system I first want to talk about the pros. So Rail 4 actually offers some unique features like voice picking, which are not really available in other similar tools based on our research. And this tool is available for both Windows, Unix, Solaris, Mac OS, Linux, IBM OS 4, 400, AIX, HP US based operating system and web based uh, systems also. So you can see that you have a large constellation of uh, operating systems. This, this is really good because if you are in an industry where you are you're like if you're comfortable using your existing operation system operating system you do not want to change so having the ability to cover all all the bases is really good and there is also a dedicated mobile app of uh, rel4 which can help you actually get access to warehouse management information right from your mobile and the web-based the web-based version offered by this tool can be easily accessed from anywhere anytime this is really cool and also the user interface of rel for a warehouse management system is simple and easy to use, which means what? It means that people without previous, let's say previous warehouse management software knowledge can easily try it and really enjoy it too. So there is no, bottom line is there is no steep learning curve. Let's just put it this way. There's no steep learning curve. You can, you can start using it, not a problem. You don't have to have a PhD in uh, computer science to start using rel for warehouse management system. So those are the uh, the main pros, the main advantages of this software. What about the cons? So Rail 4 doesn't offer any demo. If you have a demo request, they are not going to offer it unless you talk to them. OK, and this is not something that the other uh, tools, other software tools do. So you can see that with Rail 4, they're a little sort of uh, they're a little discreet they're trying to really i mean in our view they were just way too discreet anyway because uh but yeah it is their strategy and, and we actually respect that and uh rel4 customer service i mean rel 4s customer service and support can be difficult to get through sometimes especially if you are having like a a lower pricing tier they they really don't get back to you as soon as you would you would want it so it's one of those things where you have to be you know prepared beforehand Let's talk about the value added here. So when we think about RHEL 4 warehouse management system, what is the what is the work the value added here? The thing here is that when you think about uh, RHEL 4 warehouse management system, I want you to think about a couple of things. You have improved stock management. You have better order fulfillment process. You have uh, ease of billing, shipment, and tracking. This is really really cool. You have a reduction in warehouse management cost overall because if you're able to uh, optimize your warehouse uh, operations think about it you are going to save money anyway you have easy and remote access to crucial information you have increased efficiency in in uh, procurement and production planning and you also have quality assurance this is kind of a, this is really good so the bottom line here is what regardless of the the size of your warehousing regardless of the geography of your warehouses regardless of the vision that you have if you if you want to automate if you want to automate uh, tasks if you want to automate processes in your uh, warehouse uh, operation in your warehousing operations you will love uh, rel4 warehouse management system for example improved stock management so basically you are able to uh, to empower your warehouse managers manufacturers or logistic logistics supervisors to better track and slot units okay and this is kind of cool because uh, you are able to have uh, control on stock and you are able to highlight any inaccuracies in the inventory. You have better order fulfillment process. So you are able to actually uh, improve the order fulfillment process, thereby uh, contributing to happy customers, really, when you think about it. And when I talk about the reduction in uh, the warehouse management cost, this is really also really cool because you are able to have a dedicated interface to manage the automation of uh, all material handling equipment such as uh, conveyors and sorters and so this eventually leads to uh, further reduce the labor cost 
and you also are able to avail yourself of uh, a great labor management tool that gives you crucial insights into the productivity of uh, individuals so, so your your staff you'll have a better idea of what kind of of what people are doing within your warehouse and that that's what you want anyway you want to have that sort of uh, visibility anyway so this is kind of cool so bottom line is you have increased efficiency in procurement and production planning from a to z Let's talk about the extras here. So when, you th when we think about Royal 4 warehouse management system, what are the extras you need to really pay attention to? First of all, when we talk about warehouse uh, Royal 4 warehouse uh, management system, you need to understand that you can have uh, a cloud-based, so this kind of fine. So you can have a cloud-based or on-premise installation, not a problem. It really depends upon uh, the kind of configuration you want to have, okay? So, but the thing is that uh, right now, they're not always this tool is not always is not always uh, easily accessible via mobile so you will need to access it access it via your computer and uh, one thing you need to understand here is that rail for warehouse management system is not the only player in the industry you have a lot of players you have a uh, passport inventory you have kinetic wms you have uh intellitrack you have a uh, blue link elite elite you have a uh, inflow you have a lot of you have a lot of players but the bottom line here is that you want to really think of uh, Royal 4 as a solid tool when it comes to inventory management, warehouse management systems, warehouse management execution, third-party logistics, really, really solid. And you have uh, features as diverse as quality control, replenishment, order alerts, alerts. you have uh, RFID integration, you have warehouse management. And the cool thing about Royal 4 is that if you were to ask us, are we recommending this tool? Yes. This is a legit tool that we, we actually recommend. The only thing is just be aware that uh, there might be a, a learning curve at the beginning. But this tool is, is pretty good. We also love the fact that basically uh, they're constantly sort of uh, updating the tool. But just 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 like your expectations when it comes to customer service, I just want you to really reduce your expectation a little bit because they're not really fast. They're not really responsive. Okay, it is what it is. And uh, they do not also, uh, they do not always uh, allow you to have a, a demo before you actually uh, commit to them. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, but uh, what we love here is that when you talk to, when, when you're able, when you're able to speak to someone from customer service, the service is great. It's just that sometimes it does take time for, for someone, for a customer to reach customer service. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about Rail 4 Warehouse Management System. And I give you, the, let me do a quick recap here. So I gave you the general presentation, the target audience, the features, the pricing, the pros and cons, the value added, the extras, and now the recap. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous. <music>